GSEA Fashion Group is a full-service fashion house with its own apparel manufacturing plant in Peru. That's right, Lima, Peru, home to the world's finest Pima cotton and now officially part of the North American Free Trade Agreement. Our mission? Simple, to be the best in apparel manufacturing, providing all areas that we now control. Excellent customer service, quality product, and most importantly, on-time delivery. It's hard enough to create a culture here and you know what we've done in Peru to try to create a similar culture there has been you know, nothing um, less than extraordinary and we have to thank God a great deal for that. Dear Lord, I'd like to thank you for bringing us together once again to take advantage of the blessing that you have put upon us in GSEA Fashion Group. As these are blessings that I ask in your name and your name only. Amen. How did we end up in Peru? It was all because of a janitor by the name of Manuel who I was just blessed to have met. You know, I give him all the credit in the world for having guided us there. Being able to import merchandise from Peru tax exempt was for me really the deciding factor. I knew we had an advantage. I said this is the place we need to be. Hi, my name is George Bichon, former president of Calvin Klein Jeanswear. I ran a $200 million division for Calvin Klein, and uh, at no time did I ever encounter uh, anybody who had the growth trajectory, starting, frankly, from zero, uh, that uh, GSEA has had. We're, we're not believable because the story is not, it's almost unreal. Running down to Peru, finding a way to uh, to get himself uh, credentialed, finding a way to, to uh, find the money to uh, start uh, his own uh, factory in an absolutely foreign country, foreign to most of it, uh, even foreign to, uh, to a Spanish speaker as himself, uh, and to bring it from, from that to what it will be uh, in the coming months, years to come um, is, uh, is quite exemplary. It wasn't just about starting a factory, it was about starting a factory and being the best at it. The decision to build in Peru was a long and calculated one. I've been traveling to China for almost six years, where I learned a lot about the apparel manufacturing business. All I knew was China. There had to be a better way, and by chance, I found that better way through a Peruvian building manager of mine by the name of Manuel. He's the one that planted the idea to head up my own factory out there. Sounded great, I mean, a factory I would own, wouldn't have to deal with the middleman, and I'd have control over quality production and delivery, and that's when it all started. And I remember that day, driving through dirt roads with nothing but open space and available lots for sale. No infrastructure, no utilities, or security. Just a lot of dirt roads and really humble homes scattered through the area. To be honest, all of the available lots for sale were identical, so it was hard to pick the right one. Not knowing who your neighbors would be, what the community would turn out like, whether our road would even be considered a main road and eventually be paved. All things considered, I chose this one available lot connected to a university with a security post on the corner. At the very least, it assured me if I built right next to it, we'd be safe, as we had absolutely no immediate neighbors in the area. I knew this is exactly where we needed to be, just felt it, followed my instincts, and acquired the property that in time would become the site of GSEA Fashion Group's apparel manufacturing plant. So for the next two years, I walked the streets of their local markets, learning their systems, visiting textile mills, knit production factories, meeting some amazing people along the way, and running what seemed like a three-year interviewing process to find like-minded people that believed in our vision. To think, as I'm deciding on the biggest career venture of my life, opening an apparel manufacturing plant in Peru, Congress is deciding to pass a bill that would make merchandise coming from Peru tax-free. It's called NAFTA, the North America Free Trade Agreement. I thank the Congress for approving a good agreement with Peru. Many products from these nations now enter America duty-free. It was all working out the way I envisioned it, but it hadn't been easy. We were operating on a shoestring budget, 
building a group of employees in Peru, developing their chemistry, overseeing construction to complete at least one floor of our factory, hiring the right people to organize our assembly line, and a really strict quality control policy. Remember, I was once a consumer of the very goods I'm now producing, so my expectations were high. I knew we had something no one had ever done before, and probably for good reason. I mean, think about it. It's more than just having money in your pocket to acquire property and build a factory. It's about developing a company and hiring like-minded people that are passionate and creative enough to see our vision. And then align Peru with our New York team to work as one and become the next generation fashion house. I'm Don Jones, the president of Fredericks of Hollywood. I've been in the business for 40 years. GSCA has, it has inspired me, you know. This group of uh, young entrepreneurs uh, have used NAFTA as a launching pad, and now they are doing a great job in a unique way of producing and bringing goods here to America that are beautiful, that we see day in and day out in wonderful stores and retail environments around the country. Well, I'm Jay. My name is Keith Perrin. We actually changed the face of fashion, you know, coming and starting our company, FUBU. GSA has a, a, a different type of business model, which is actually, I say, phenomenal. These guys are basically totally vertical, and which is like unheard of in this business. I wish we would have had um, something like that when we were actually coming up and first starting. Building the factory has put us on the map. It hasn't been easy, but we've stayed the course and keep following our vision as we continue to grow and expand our operation. I kind of wished uh, that I was around for the beginning of, uh, of the venture because it's always pleasurable to be around um, organic um, ventures that blossom as this one has uh, into, into what it has been a, uh, a true success story. I'm so proud of you guys doing things that not many, if anybody has done you know, like we're doing now in New York and in Peru. Me siento orgullosa de que el señor Anthony Rosa haya puesto sus ojos y apostado por el Perú. Él nos ha implementado su sistema de manejo que maneja con todo su gerencia. El de ser organizados, tener comunicación, orden y disciplina. El secreto de todo esto es una confianza, eh, esa confianza que me dio la gerencia, el directorio, ha sido básico. Agradezco de antemano a la señora Rosa por confiar en mí, por creer en, el, en mi gestión y puede que ahora decir que no, no se equivocó. Y siempre tendré presente ese apoyo. La filosofía aplicada en esta empresa es este, ha, sido, ha sido adecuada por el señor Antonio Rosa, un, una persona que trabaja radica en los Estados Unidos, nos ha enseñado a aplicar este, lo que es orden, limpieza, puntualidad, que es muy importante para no fallar con los pedidos, ¿no? y nos están este, también aplicando una metodología que es la 5S, que nos está ayudando a ser más, más, este, ser más efectivos ser cada día mejores y cumplir este con los retos planteados.